back to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Brunette Wig Place and today I am doing a review for Wig Studio One. Just a reminder, Wig Studio One has a Facebook group called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. We would love for you to come over and join that group. It is a very supportive group of people who love to share their different wig styles, hair loss issues, things like that. And they also have a coupon code that is good for 30% off of most of their brands. And that coupon code is beautiful you. So today I am wearing an extremely daring style, <laughs> particularly for me. I don't know if I'm brave enough to wear her, but this is Aria by Renee of Paris, and the color on her is Coffee Latte R. So, very daring style. She is a basic cap wig, but she does have a lace front, which is really nice, and she is meant to have a lot of volume, so she has a lot of permatease, and, um, but that is because this is the style, you know, this is, it's supposed to be a, a voluminous style. So let me do a turn and then we will get into all of her specifications. So front, as you can see, she's got these long layers in the front. Right side, so just to show you that angle. Really cute, they kind of wrap around the chin, very pretty. The back, the back is, is stacked, very pretty. My left side, again, you got that long front there. And then back to the front. So, like I said, she's very daring. I <laughs> she intimidates me a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. No, but she is uh, she's just a very bold style. And you know, if this is your thing to wear a bold style, this is a great one to go out and get. And she's got a great price point on her with um, the cap construction and everything. So as far as her measurements are concerned, this front measurement here is 10.62 inches. So, you know, it goes, if it was all the way around, it would be a shoulder, you know, shoulder grazing style, but that's just in this very front layer. And then she gradually gets shorter as she goes up. So from the crown, you have a 6.1 inch measurement. And then the nape back here is, is very short, 1.96 inches. And then she has a weight of three ounces. So um, let me show you her lace front here. So it's good. It's um, you know, it's a it's a very dark color, so you can see some knotting there, but I think it's pretty well done. And it is nice that it has a lace front because I'll show you some styling in a bit, and that gives you that option of you know pulling these longer sides back and things like that if that's what you'd like to do. I really love when a basic cap wig just they just add a lace front. It just um, gives you that ease and gives you more styling options, which is great. So the color on this one is Coffee Latte R, which is described as a medium to dark brown. Now to my eye, I would say more of a dark brown. It's, it's pretty dark. Uh, medium to dark brown base and nape with uh, two different highlight shades. There's a medium auburn and a light brown running through her. And I've got the front kind of messed up here. Okay, um, the highlights are there, but they're really, really subtle. So uh, when we take her outside, they'll probably show up more, but they are just very subtle, but very pretty. They're not chunky, super bold. Really love the way they did the highlights. So very pretty style. So let me pop her off. I will show you her ear tabs before I forget. So ear tabs are nice. Um, cap construction is really nice. They've got a good metal stay. I'm not having any problem with this. You know, I've got great coverage and all that. So really like that. Um, her cap is an average size. This one is, um, I have a 21 inch, so I'm con considered a petite average, and I, this would stretch up to average, but not much um, beyond that. And I think they're kind of known for having a bit smaller cap size. So, so let me pop her off and we can look at the inside of the cap. Okay, so as I said, she has a lace front, which is nice. It's extended you know, down onto that ear tab. So nice, broad lace front. Um, she's got soft, velvety ear tabs. 
She has an extended nape, which is um, just, well, just slightly extended, not, not super long, because she's got a really short nape measurement, but they did extend it just a little bit. And then she's got these pull um, adjusters. It's hard to see the cat with the black cap, so. But she's just got those pull kind of bra strap type adjusters. And then open wefting all through the cap, closed lace up here on the very top, and that's where the majority of that permatease is located. So I'll show you the top of her cap here. So you can see there are some little permatease fibers, but they're really not too bad. And there are some ways that we can hide those, and I'll show you that whenever we do the styling. So she's pretty easy to just throw on and go, find that part, decide how much volume you want in her. You know, you can give her a zhuzh and you can get a lot, a lot, a lot of volume if that is your thing. Or if not, you can also push her back down, push that permatease down. And I'll show you that, that um, appearance of the, you know, permatease on the top. It's really not bad. I think it's pretty well done. This color kind of hides it too, which is nice. So, really pretty. All right, well, let's take her outside and we will look at Coffee Latte R outside in the natural light. Okay, so we are outside with this Coffee Latte R. You can really see, yeah, you can definitely see those highlights out here. Really pretty. And you can also probably maybe get a better look at that permatease on the top and see that it really is not bad, so. The hair just kind of flips and flops whichever direction it wants to, but it's really cute that way. So there's a little breeze. You can see how she moves. These little, um, you know, these longer pieces tend to blow around a little bit, but nothing else back here. It, this, the rest of the style holds itself really well. She's cute and spunky. Let's go back inside. Okay, so we are back inside now with this Aria wig by Renee of Paris in the color Coffee Latte R. And so you can see those highlights. They were, it's amazing to me sometimes when you get out there in the natural light, the highlights and stuff in, a, in the color will really pop out. So glad that I took it out there so that you could get a better idea. I can see it in this light right here, but then they kind of disappear as I go back. So, but they are there, they're visible, very, very pretty. So I wanna talk about styling with her because she is a very bold, very daring style. And she may feel like she's a little bit too much, um, too daring, too bold. So I have seen her trimmed. Um, you know, that is an option if that's your thing. But remember, once you cut hair off a wig, you can't put it back on. So just a little word of warning. But I've been playing around with her and doing a lot of different things with her. And she's kind of fun to style. So as far as, you know, you can put just about any clip in her. She's cute. Um, really, she's one of these uh, wigs that she reminds me kind of of the sheer elegance wig that I reviewed. You just keep doing stuff to her and she's, she just gets cuter and cuter the more stuff you do to her. So, you know, any kind of little clip is gonna look super cute in her. Um, if you want to get these sides, this is something kind of unique. If you wanna get these sides out of the way, you can actually clip them back and just use a claw clip. And then you've got a more conservative style. She kind of bumps up, which is cute, you know. So, but it's nice that she has the lace front because then you can just take in, she's gonna slide around on me a little bit here, but you know, you can bump her up on the, on the very top if you want to with a clip. And then you've got a little bit of this hanging, you know, she just, I mean, you could just do a lot with her. And you know, these kind of wigs are meant to have volume. So go with the volume, play with the volume, enjoy the volume, have fun with it, you know? Don't be intimidated by it, just go with it and have fun with it. I've just been, what I like to do with these when they've got permatease is I just kind of rake through that permatease and give her some texture, show off those pretty layers and, it, and then it also makes that color bounce out, you know? really makes it pop, just play around with her. Fluff her up, floof her up, do whatever you want to. You know, there's just, she's meant to be, you know, 
she's meant to be kind of messy, kind of crazy, you know, cut just, um, she's meant to be styled and played around with. So another thing that's cute, and I love to use this if you are a little bit uncomfortable with the permatease on top, stick a headband over it. This headband is wide enough, you could even get a wider one and you'd cover it almost completely, wide enough that it, you know, it really covers it up. And then if you want to, because she's got great ear tabs and she does have the lace front, she's cute also just tucked behind the ear. She kind of, these little edges kind of flip out, which is cute. But then you can also just put a headband in her. She would be pretty with a scarf tied in her too. But if you, you know, just again, play with her. Just, you know, release her full potential. <laughs> if you're gonna, you know, and style her up. She's so cool, she looks very 60s there. I think my mom had a hairdo like this in the 60s. If it, it was red though. Cute, she's really cute. So, so really cute little style, you know, fun little style. There's a lot of things you can do with her. Um, you know, you could even take part of this and tuck it behind the ear and let, hold on, that didn't work. I did this a lot with wigs when I first started wearing them because I felt like there was too much hair, you know, around my face. But then that kind of, you know, uh, gets her, controls that little front a little bit more if, if it's bugging you or whatever. So, but uh, really cute style. So don't think that there you can't do things with these short styles. This one's kind of fun because you have some length in the front that you can play around with, but then in the back, you still basically just got your uh, pixie that's layered and has volume. So really, really cute. So again, I wanna thank Wig Studio One for sending me this wig to review for you today. Thank you so much for watching. The information for purchasing will be down below in the info section. So once again, thanks for watching and don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Until next time, bye-bye.